Now we are going to go to our next presentation. I am going to volunteer someone. Where is he? Mr. Bobby Shabangu to uh, from the Wiscom because we need to have insights about the last year's conference, uh, the Wikinaba 2022. That was in Rwanda. If there is anyone from Rwanda, they're also welcome to come on stage and want to volunteer them if they're here. Uh, language inclusion 
so we realized Wiki in Nava in Rwanda uh, was an anglophone leading conference which does not provide language translation, especially to the francophone attendees. Uh, are people who speak French understanding what I'm talking about? I think right now there are no translations. So it is something that we learned, and I think it will be put into consideration uh, so that our French speaking attendees do not feel out of uh, Wiki Indawa. Wiki Indawa belongs to all of us. Hello? Uh, yes, and uh, yes, so I think I will hand over to Bobby to also take. So, uh, one of the things that was highlighted was um, newbies. And they felt that they are too, thank you so much. They felt that they, they, uh, they are two groups. Uh, the, the group of the elite, which is the experienced users. And then they felt you know, out of place because they were not included you know, in the whole conference. They were just sitting there in their own corner while people that know each other, you know, they've been uh, in, in, the, in the movement for a very long time, they were speaking, you know, high-fiving, and they were really not being included. So one of the things that we've learned uh, is to integrate them into the conference when we are, we are uh, organizing or we are putting together the program. Uh, very, very much important and it's something that I'm going to ask you right now going forward that uh, try to speak to someone that you don't know. Uh, we know that we know our friends that uh, you know, we would want to speak to people that we know for a very long time but please, if you see someone that is sitting by themselves that is, you know, uh, just there. It's just go to them and speak to them, you know. And you might learn uh, two or, three, uh, uh, or one or two things from them. So it's very important to integrate units. Um, so one of the other things that we also learned was to provide a structural mentorship program after the conference to onboard newbies. And a lot of things for newbies, you know, uh, they become overwhelming. Speaking about terms, speaking about you know what is Wikipedia, what is Wikipedia, what is Wikipedia, what's all this kind of information is just too much for them. So one of the things that was highlighted last year was uh, to have a program that will onboard the, the, the newbies. It's something that we still think about how we're going to be doing that so that you know, they feel welcome. Alright, uh, the other thing is very important as well was African representation. There are many key bodies and, uh, and uh, 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 structures within the Wikimedia movement. We don't see Africans there, especially those ones about policies. Very, very, very important, you know, that determine the, 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 the direction of the movement. And most of them, Africans, do not attend meetings, you know, to sit and contribute in there, or they don't just want to be part of it, you know, including the, uh, the, the, the board, you know, the Wikimedia Foundation board. We need to have Africans being involved in this, and it was highlighted very strongly last year. Um, uh, it's, it's very, very much important when we see, you know, emails coming from the foundation, they are asking, you know, your comments, your contribution on things like the Universal Code of Conduct or any other strategic uh, uh, um, um, bodies, you know, you need to be involved in that. So, it's something that was highlighted and we feel at the end of the day excluded because we did not take part, you know, in those, in those uh, committees. And then the last one is uh, okay. Conversations after the uh, the conference. Uh, so this was also highlighted that we speak about a lot of very important things during the conference. Highlight you know, ideas, very nice ideas. What happens to those ideas after the conference? You know, they are here in Rwanda. They are here in Arabia. It was then proposed for 
within the understanding committee to form a um, a channel that will enable to form a channel that will enable Africans to speak outside of the, of the conference. Hence, today we see something called Africa Baraza. It's actually started there in the conference to say, guys, we are talking about a lot of you know nice ideas. Yes, they are nice to hear, but you know some of the challenges people have, some of the ideas that are shared, they just end up in the conference. You know, what, what what channel can we you know, put together so that this conversation continue. The Wiki in the other conference should be a conversation starter. You know, it should not be where we start conversation and we talk about things and then it ends there, but we should you know, start conversations and then they should continue. But you know, we did not have that platform. So we then uh, began um, the uh, Africa Manasar channel. I would like to urge everyone who has not attended the Africa Brazil channel to actually do that. You know, subscribe and you know, follow the channel, follow the days. We don't have it every month, it's just once every three months every quarter. So I would like to welcome everyone to subscribe and attend Africa Baraza. Africa Baraza is for you to talk about you know your, your, your issues, your challenges, we celebrate the events there. You know, and we talk about anything that is related to us as Africans and the conference, you know, things that we were spoken about during the conference. So these are our slides, and this is what happened last year uh, in Wiki Indama 2022 in Rwanda. Thank you so much, and over to you, guys.